Hello and welcome to Transport Fever with me, Kevin Sawyer. And uh, I had some positive feedback from the first live stream. So, um, what I did, like I said, mentioned in the live stream, uh, that's the Steam Workshop. Obviously, you can see it's got all the mods. Um, you can download the mods from there as well. Um, I kind of covered it in the live stream. But I'm going to go for it again, just briefly. Um, if you want to say you started a game and you've brought in a few new extra mods, and you're thinking, right, okay, I've brought in extra mods. Do I have to start a new game? Um, no, you don't. Um, what you got to continue, obviously. Um, you can click on that, and you will continue without the new mods added. If you go to load game and then select the one you want and then you basically once you've selected that one you should be able to then edit the uh, mods so from there so if I then go to that option so advanced options um, it's got available mods as you can see um, I started off the live stream with just that one um, I'm now going to start adding these ones which I had already um, in. I'm not still not going to have the costs in. We're still going to leave that out because again, I want to try and do it as legit as I can and start the game. I hope you guys are all well and enjoying your day. As I said, I've had some positive feedback from the first stream. So I'm doing a recording right now. Um, let's see where we start left off from last time. Um, where did we left? Uh, what year are we on? Uh, we are... 1859, yeah, 1859. And let's see how everything's getting on. Let's just slow down a sec. We've got good. Um, let's check up on our. lines and see how much they're doing. So the balance on that's not looking good. Charlie's line looks like it's losing money. Food is losing money as well. But Charlie's line, if we remember rightly, both Charlie's and Sinky's line, I kind of mucked up there and um, I didn't add them until I realised I'd missed them. So hopefully that sh they should both pick up over time. Especially as we're getting people coming and going now. Um, they should sort of, The costs for them should start to decrease. Check, make sure it's all running the way I want it to run. Um, it pretty is. Yep, it's the way I'll, I set it up. Um, let's have a quick look at what it's like being on the Let's have a quick look at the car. Um, we've got someone standing in the back of it, which is quite good. Let's have a little driver in the front there. Yeah, there we go. Let's have a quick. Almost like a mini road roller coaster. It's only going 10 miles per hour. I also figured out uh, something as well. I've um, got it on dollars. I'll see if I can set it on two pounds again on the settings. But it's on dollars at the moment. You might not be able to see them because the little characters are away. Um, but it's on set to dollars. I'll check the currency. I thought I'd set it up in the, in the stream. Before I did the stream, obviously I didn't do it. So I'll go into the uh, settings and see if I can change it from there. It should also change. I say should also change. But as you can see, we are slowly getting money. We're now on uh, 835k. Um, and I think that might be part and parcel 
of what's going on with Jeff's line. Yeah, Jeff's getting us some serious money now, Jeff's line. Um, so, you know, straight off the get-go. As I say, food's line will sort of like pick up once there's more uh, freight going through it. Um, and the rest should, and Tom's line's definitely get, giving us a a fair amount of money too. I'm just gonna today I'm gonna see how much setting up a boat line between here and here is gonna be. I might not succeed so you know guys bear that in mind I might have to take, well if push comes to shove could take out some more money um, just to set up the boats just to show you guys what that's in, what the uh, that's all involved with. So let's pause the game here. Again, stop any expenditure if we we can. Uh, let's see. Let's go where we can go with this. So if we go on the boats, uh, harbour. So it, this is where it gets a bit tricky um, to say the least if I now rotate it like I said in the live stream it's M and N to rotate and then shift M and M to find position that um, you've got to just get it just right you see it it's not a hundred percent it's not really hard not um, to put it in but it's a bit tricky um, to get it spot on you need to just know how to hover it just in the right place you see little boxes pop up if you just get it wrong so so that's 201k let's now build a road to it so I'm going to say medium street again Quickly pan down uh, what I might do is I'm just going to leave a bit of space where I can to put a train station. I'm trying not to paint myself into the same corners I did last time. There we go. Right, I'm still a bit on the short side. I hope there's just enough space there for what we need. If not, it's a case of improvisation is the key. Um, Right, now what do we need? We need a bus station. We need a large bus station. Can we fit it? I'm hoping not. It was done by pure guess. It's a bit on the tight side. I've got I don't think even if I upgrade this now, it won't affect the size of the dock. So that shouldn't have side effect, side effect, side Okay, it does. That I didn't want to do. So I'm going to have to delete this. And... I'm going to have to delete a bit of this and all. See, this is costs which I didn't want to bring in. I'm going to bring the road out a bit, just a tiny bit more, just to give it a bit of extra space. I should have done that first really, I know. Again, it's a case of only human. Uh, right. That should give us a just enough space if we do ever need to re upgrade the harbour it won't shouldn't hopefully clash with that bus station so let's build the road back into that because otherwise it go nuts and go there's no road again okay, it's not pretty but it does what we need it to do throw that onto there 
We spent money we shouldn't, we didn't need to spend. Um, again, these things kind of happen. We're just gonna have to bear with it. Let's spin this round. I want to try and not repeat my last mistake. If I can get away, I might just put it because it doesn't really matter where this is, as long as it's close. Connection not possible, All right, okay. There we go. Alright, so that's in. Let us now go to the next neighbouring town, which is down here. This is a bit tighter down here, so it's going to be a bit more tricky. Right, let's case of rinse and repeat with the boats and everything else like I did in live stream. Let's place the harbour there. Let us then get the old road on connect it up. It's a nasty nasty ninety degree bend but there and everywhere else. So go put the brakes on. We're coming into the harbour. Right, okay. Let's uh the laugh on there. Let's put a Oh no, I want passenger, I don't want freight. And spin this round. Again, because it's digging it into ground, it's going to cost a bit. Yeah, it's a bit of an odd angle as well, which I don't like. The OCD in me is going, mm -hmm. but I'll live with that. I have to learn with live with that, right? And actually, that's quite fortuitous because this is the line where the food's coming in into. So they should hopefully over time this. This factory over here, yeah, it, it's using the line. It's not producing anything at the moment. It might not have received anything at the moment, so that's the problem. We've got your carts not working as effectively as you want them to. In fact, what I might do is I'll buy six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'll set this to set all now Jeff is Jeff's line, isn't it? Yeah. To that. Cause it only must have come some good money that so And hopefully 'cause they're they look like they're more as coming back. They'll be starting to head out and they're gone towards that point. Let's see if any of these these carts have got anything on them. No, that hasn't got anything. Hang on. So that's... Hmm. I think I see the problem here. Oh, no, it should be on automatic. Let's just check make sure that's right. I haven't... Sort of like... No, that's all on automatic. I guess that just selects logs as a, as a matter of course. I hope it does anyway. Yeah, that had food in it, so it self loaded something. Might be carrying logs, you never know. I might have seen logs somewhere around perhaps. Um Alright. But I digress. That's now we've done that. Now we need a harbour. Well, not a harbour as such, I see. I mean, uh, a depot. So, again, same problem. Well, I say problem, but same little quirk with placing these in. They're not overly hard. Not 100% easy either. So you don't need a road to these. You can just place them down, and away you go. If you're that way inclined, you want to place the road to them, please do. 
Um, but I, it's just it's, it's pure semantics. You don't really need a road to that. So what we'll do is I'll place a new line. And I'll add that one. And then I'll add this one. Okay. It goes over quite a nice uh, lake. Well, I'd say it's. The river kind of opens out into like a kind of lake here. But then it was, let's see how, how much does a paddle steamer cost. And I know the paddle steamers um, because from what I played off screen, eventually you'll probably get better boats. Uh, well, I know we'll get better boats eventually, uh, but I don't know what boats we're going to get. Uh, it's how much are they? 216. So we do need to take out some more money. So unfortunately, let's go to the bank and rob that as much as we can. Uh, so our loan at the moment is just over five million, five point So I'm going to buy one, two. And what I'm going to do in a minute, we'll come back to that, is we'll try and set up those boats so they're kind of, if they, we can, get them to the come and, come and go at the same time. So one's heading towards the other. It might not work out like that, but we'll see how it goes. But what we need to do next is we need to add in some another bus line. Like I was saying in the uh, streams, this one will probably serve a lot of this anyway, because it's quite it's within spitting distance of this. And having a loop in your town does help. Not mandatory, but it does help. In fact, we've got two little mini loops. So what I'm going to do is try and make that. I might start off that first set of bus stations in this little corridor then. Here. Because I can't like that. Um, and then this looks like some industry kicking off here so we throw some here that way they don't necessarily have to use this just to get to the harbour they can use this again to get to work and whatever they need to do Again, these this town's quite small, but it will grow, and I can all, we can always add it more or more, add more stations in over time. But I'll leave it at that because it's only a fairly small town at the moment. Um, that will as I say grow over time, especially it's been supplied now. Well, we hope it's been supplied. I'm guessing it is. Um, I'll, I'll find out in the long run. Again, it's not long since. I'm literally playing this since my last stream, but I haven't really given playing it a lot of it off screen. I just, just ah, I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> okay, I need a bulldoze. That's how you, again. I might not have covered that, but this is how you delete stuff. You hit on the old bulldozer, and if you can. I like the bit you want. It can be a bit tricky on little small bits like that. So, you know, bear that in mind. Just take your time. And you should be okay. Right. That's... We've now set that up. We now need to buy a depot, don't we? So, let's buy a depot. I'm going to say bus again. I'm going to go for the tram on this one. I might mix it up and do one of each or whatever. I'll see how I feel. Because uh, normally when I play when I used to play Train Fever I used to have this reach and here's why I say it's stupid. Some of you might like that aspect but 
some of you might think it's as crazy in lunacy. Um, I used to have like what's a north and south of the river. Um, so what I'd do is I'd set sort of like and I think one side of the river as trams and one so and the other side of the river as buses just to make things easier for myself to know what, where I need to go next and stuff like that but I thought I'd mix it up a bit in this transport fever I'm trying to break myself out of that habit let's we need one so how many we've we got one two three one, two, three, four. Four sets of stations, so in total. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four. Again, I like neat numbers, I don't like odd numbers. Apart from the number seven, that's my lucky number. Um, that's one of my lucky numbers. Uh, right. So we need to make a new line, don't we? That's what I was trying thinking of what I need to do next. That's why my brain was not really shouting at me. It's just going, hmm. So new line. Add this station in. And then we'll move over to this one as we did in this live stream. Again, sorry guys, if you think it's a bit repetitive doing this, let me know. Um, please do, be honest. I'm, you know, I I don't hide behind smoke or mirrors. Honesty's the uh, best policy I find in any aspect of life, both live streaming and YouTubing. I want you guys' input to sort of like know where I'm going, and that way I know if I'm doing something wrong, if I need to improve. Um, but if you're enjoying it, again, it's a win-win situation. So, so this is line two. So again, so because it's been such a short time um, from letting sort of like immediate comments come in, I've only had a handful of comments and sort of like names. What I'll do is in the next recording or live stream I'll, le I'll name these lines for now I'll uh, leave them as line 2 and whatever Excellent. I'm probably going to be line 3 I think I could be wrong we assign them to line 2 so they should go out and do their funky thing once we unpause it we now need to make undo that actually I'll close that box just to minimize confusion add stations so we can now go the opposite way to where we were before add station so in fact that color scheme's a bit too similar so I'm gonna make it a scarp contrast to what's already there so then it stands out that way there's no confusion for myself or anyone else um, and we can go the other way so the other way be going this way we select the industrial state so again if they get off the harbour to, from Dalva town and they've come here to work they then they'll just get straight from harbour to work don't have to um, waste time going through all the stations just to get to work and again that's another reason why I kinda have a two-way system that way you know people don't have to one they don't have to wait to go all the way round uh, let's make sure that's set up right cool yeah they don't have to and two especially like at the moment the carts can only take a handful of people five four people um, what you don't want is if you've set this up just for one way only and one way only again I'm again going to bore you guys with science um, but I think it benefits you guys from why what the method behind my madness is um, 
what you don't want if you say this is say I didn't do this the two sets of lines this is say I've just done one that works counterclockwise from here all the way back round to here again now again if someone gets off here and they want to work here because they've got food and this town's warm you know, got more supplies coming in for whatever reason they want to work here and okay the industrial states are just over here um, what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to get on with everybody else that maybe don't want to go to work today they might want to go visit a leisure facility or or a friend or a house or they might want to go home um, whatever the situation they're going to have to share the same coach or the horse drawn coat car carriage so if you've got like eight people waiting here and that can only fit four people in basically when that gets round to the first stop you might get one or two people get off um, and then you might have people at the next stop already waiting um, to get on to either go back to the harbour or go somewhere else in the city if if that buses or coaches horse drawn coaches clogged up with five people that want to go say here and here and no one gets off then they're going to have to wait for the next coach to get, come along and then they might not be prepared to wait that long so they might wander off or which you can get that people sometimes just disappear off of the off of the line off of the um, waiting I've watched it myself I've watched five two or three people get onto a a station and then disappear um, I've not seen it so much in this game because I haven't played it long enough to do that but on Train Fever it did do that so that is the method behind my madness I'm sorry it was a bit of a rant but that's the reason why I do, I've gone down that route but anyway let's again just build up another set of lines along here Again, this leads straight into industrial estate. Okay, it's spitting distance from there. So what I'm not going to do? Let's see how this town looks. There's a mini little circle, ish here. If I can connect this to that, and then this to that, and then run it back down this way, I think that my mindset would be uh, telling me that work out beneficial in some way I could be wrong I could be bang on the money I'm just going with my gut so I always go with your gut instincts if your gut tells you something then follow your gut right so let's now build in the next set of lines I haven't got the music on today either. Um, reason being, again, it's a relatively new game. Once, you know, um, I get to that point where I've run out of things to say to you guys and uh, I need to pause a lot more, um, I will do that, uh, bring the music in um, just to, you know, benefit you guys in that way once it gets to that point where I'm off and rolling and it's uh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing this and then just pause, I'm doing this and I'm doing that and then I'll bring the music in uh, so that's so if I, yeah so that kills two birds with one stone it's a, it will serve some of these guys in the industrial state in some way an aspect or another so now we can bring this round to here and this should hopefully, I say hopefully, serve a great deal of people in this immediate vicinity. So, again, I'm going to, it's doubling up on the same sort of like general area, but again, my mindset says just, just ease of use for your potential foot flow. 
uh, and then put so that goes back to the main I don't really want it to go straight back I want it to pick up as many people as I can get it to pick up because you know not everyone wants to go to work they want to do other stuff as well there will be times where it doesn't always do that I know that in my mind's mind um, but that should do it that should be enough st stations for that so we'll just create another line again it's automatically selecting this dark colour right okay I digress let's just throw these stations in I'll worry about that later it's like you're mad Kev you're off your oh, again the OCD's not doing my head any good it's saying that it shouldn't be like that but uh, we leave it right add this one in add this one in add this one in and there we go we so that's got six stations in a sense Right, so that's done with that one. Um, clear this off for the time being. And we're going to make a yet another line. A new line. Contrast and colour, which helps. Uh, select that one. And we went that way, didn't we? Initially. So I want to go this way. Go opposite way. Go clockwise rather than counterclockwise. And that's why that's the prime reason why I do this. I have double it up. And as I said, um, and I'll say it again, to I'm blue in the face, or you guys just say, "Look, we know, Kev. We're not idiots. We know why your plan is." But again, I don't think you guys are idiots. I'm just like saying for anyone that's dropping in for the first time, and anyone that's curious to the method of my madness but there we go we've like looped that up with six again so now I'm gonna go to the train the depot sorry and I'm gonna try and buy six carts from here so one two three four five six and we're set all again. So that one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. We're set all. Oh, I've just forgotten what I just did there. Sorry, guys. Line five. So there we go. Now I forget where I've actually covered this. Uh, no, I don't think I did. We need. No, we did. I did cover it. Sorry, my bad. I forgot all my ranting and raving. We. I forgot that. I've already set this up, so again, just recover. You just need to click on the port, click on the port, and then you, it automatically works out for you. One thing I will say, um, and in fact, let's start the game off, and I'll just get one, select this one, select line, line one, let him go. And here I've uh, go and unload and I'll pause the game. Let him come out in his entirety. 
going to cost us a fortune this initially in the first couple of runs, but. Quite interesting. Here we go off on his way now. Let's have a look at that boat mine quickly. That's weird. I don't know why it does that. Does that. It doesn't go automatically go to the first line. It just came out there and it's just setting off to the line, well, the second station. I guess because it's not so close, it doesn't have to double check. It's go doubling on itself. What I'll do is I'll let the other boat go and then we'll see what that one does. That does the same thing. We'll stop it where it is and wait till the other one turns back. You can. Oh wow! Okay, you can click on the buildings and it gives you a nice little. This is bird building view. Okay, right. Uh, I need to set the line. So set line one with it. One thing as well, I don't know if you heard that, someone speaking in the background. I'll go quiet in a sec. Let's see which way this one goes. If he starts heading this way, I'll pause him. I'll stop him from moving anywhere. Which you can do at any time with any vehicle. If you get find yourself in the same situation. Yeah, he's going the same way. So, I'm going to stop him. And you stop him by doing this. Click on that. He won't stop straight away because he's in the water. But you can see, look, he puts himself into reverse thrust there, in a sense. And they've modelled this quite beautifully, actually, because that's exactly what a boat would have to do. And a boat doesn't stop at a six points, it has to, it causes initial derp, an initial um, forces inside the water. And then you get a dead zone, in a sense. The Titanic had the same problem, a lot of boats have the same problem. With the boat, the, 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 the screw, or the propeller, um, spins counterclockwise, or clockwise, or whatever it's been set, pitch has been set to, to reverse the water back, or to get the boat to reverse. As the propeller sort of like stops spinning from clockwise to counterclockwise, it causes a wake in the water, um, which then the water becomes dead in a sense. It just can't move the water anywhere because it's just it's just literally just frothing it around and not doing anything. We've got what's like another new vehicle. And I think that's a. I suspect that's probably another. Uh, I hope not to bought them for nothing. Let's have a quick look. Passenger. No. Yeah, it's a f it's a it's a freight one. The freight one seems to. But I f suspect that would be actually the case. The freight ones would uh, generate faster than the passenger ones because obviously freight was a bit more of a commercially viable thing. But uh, again, I'm thinking of naming some of the vehicles. I don't know if, if I'm going to do it on the older ones or not. I'll get, wait till we get to a point where I know nothing is going to stabilise and we've got fairly good vehicles running on those lines. Let's uh, jump on the old boat. And this scene will remind you from the Titanic. It's like I'm flying! Yeah! Anyway, let me go back. I kind of loosely touched on it. I'll go quiet, and I'm going to hang around this 
harbour, and I'm hoping you guys can hear it. As if not, then I'm sorry, but I'll be trying. I don't know if you guys heard that. I hope you did. Um, it's like a little guy that says there's a departure um, going. Um, uh, this is the, now the, the calling to departure 148. Every now and again he say that this this is last call for Southampton or something like that. And again in the background you can hear a combination of fog horns and maybe the sound of a motorised engine from like a boat or, you know, or, or a speedboat or something like that. It's nice touches, um, it's not exactly right for this time aspect but I can see why the developers have gone that way to give it some sort of immersion. This is a nice touch. But anyway, I'll leave it at that. I've ranted on long enough and uh, gone on long enough but I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, um, again, guys, uh, please feel free to like. And um, if you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching the episode, again, guys, uh, please feel free to uh, share. It helps me out a lot. Um, and if you're new to my channel and see future episodes of this and anything else I'm working on, please feel free to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN.